A major step tonight in redrawing Syracuse Common Council districts for the first time in 20 years. Syracuse Redistricting Commission holding one last public hearing tonight before getting to work on a final map. News Channel Line's Madison Moore spoke with people at the hearing about what they would like the districts to represent. It's no surprise to see Charles Pierce L. here. This is the final redistricting public hearing, and the community activist has been to all five. I just want to be a part because this is my neighborhood where I was born and raised, and I'm going to constantly be a part. A sentiment that drove Commissioner Jason Belge to volunteer for the independent committee. I want to be involved. Um, I love living downtown, so I wanted to get my hands dirty. The new maps include a number of changes. A portion of downtown has been removed from District 4, now referred to as District A. You took away some votes from the south side now, so especially the African Americans and Latinos and other, the international community and stuff, you took a lot of votes away. And some community members are worried that the I-81 viaduct that's divided communities of color for decades is still having an influence on the committee's redrawings, despite the state's plans to remove it. That's the biggest concern for me is making sure that those folks, and in particularly those black and brown folks that have had an opportunity to vote with each other, to vote for each other, that they continue that kind of pattern here. The input we do get is very valuable from all neighborhoods, from Salt Springs to Washington Square to downtown and the south side. It's been great. Now using that input to create a final draft to present to the Common Council for approval. In Syracuse, Madison Moore, News Channel 9. Commissioner Belch says once the committee has come to a decision, the final drawings will be presented to the public during two hearings with the hopes of having new maps approved in the next month or so.